ska se mig för. We're doing something. <laughs> I heard that you were an advisor for Interstellar. Star Wars or Star Trek? What's it like to have your son as your boss? <laughs> ah, <laughs> it turns the table. He's the chairman of the physics department and he recruited me. If you could do any other research, science or non-science, what would it entail? So when I was a kid, before I really knew what science was, I loved to read, I loved to write. I was the editor of the school newspaper and I always loved storytelling. So I always thought I'd write the great novel, not uh, do science. <laughs> Mr. Chen? <laughs> What's some advice you would give younger researchers such as undergraduates about pursuing careers in the STEM field? I think you have to decide what you are interested in. I mean, do you like to make discoveries? Do you like to build things? You have to find out what you're good at and what you're interested in, and the best thing is to find out what you do. So what is the best advice you got as a child? For me, for what I do, what was instilled in me was my curiosity. Kids are curious. Most of us lose that. Somehow I maintain that, and so curiosity kind of has driven what I've done with my life. So I was given a chemistry set when I was young, and my mother bought me chemicals and so forth, and they just gave me advice by example, allowed me to do what I wanted to do, and turned out to be chemistry. You're talking to two people who neither of us had privileged backgrounds. Yeah. Uh, and uh, I, I'm a public school kid from the beginning. My, me, neither of my parents went to college, neither of his parents went to college, and we weren't wealthy. I think it's true that many of my colleagues have a privileged background, but I don't think it's a requirement to do science, good science. Who do you go to for advice? My wife. She's a psychologist. And so she has a different perspective. <laughs> yeah, it's not a, she always has a kind of different way of looking at whatever yeah. I'm grappling with. So yeah, well, I've, I've been married to my wife 47 years now. So if you married the right person, I mean, you must have done well. Yeah. She brings a different point of view yeah. to whatever problem, as Barry said, we might be grappling with. Pleasure meeting you guys. Those are my questions. Thank you. Picture. That's really cool. <laughs> Hold on. Thank you so much. Thank you. Nice to meet you.